Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So over the weekend, I found this cool uh, library called React Icons. This includes a lot of popular icons from a lot of the popular icon libraries, including some of the paid ones. So you get the free icons from the paid version, uh, for example, like Font Awesome. And the cool thing about it is that because it includes so many different icons available to you, um, you really don't need to install something like Font Awesome or buy it really. Um, unless you want to for the licenses and everything. But for example, if I go to Font Awesome and I have all the um, icons available to us, 22,000, if I find one, let's say like this um, camera movie, this is a paid uh, pro icon. But what I can do is go into React Icons and I can do something like camera and I'll find some that are pretty much the exact same thing. So like this doohickey looks pretty similar to any of these right here. And if you scroll down, you'll see more and more but that's pretty much about it so let's go ahead and install this into our react project and get working with this alrighty so you're gonna want to have a react app already made if you don't have one made just go ahead and make one I have one made already it's like from a tutorial for bootstrap or something like that uh, but what I'm gonna do is inside of my terminal for my react app I'm going to go ahead and paste the command npm install react dash icons dash dash save and that'll install all the icons that we need we do have another um, command that we can do but if our project is really big in size you can do that, but in our case, we're not going to worry about it. All right, so I have a pretty basic component made right here. Uh, you can just work in the app.js file if you just freshly made your app. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import uh, some stuff from React to Icon. So I'm going to do import curly braces and then from React dash icons. And if I do slash, it's going to give me all of these different folders. And this is where all of the icons are actually stored. Uh, so we have ri, lib, sorry, not lib, h i g r g i g o. All these are corresponding to one of these right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and search up the camera like we wanted earlier. And we have all these different types of cameras. And we, we have some pretty funky names. We have like AI fill camera, BI camera movie, FC camera add-on. Um, but how you use these icons is pretty simple. So the first two letters of the actual name is what the icon belongs to. For example, uh, let's go ahead and pick out this one right here. So we have BS camera reels something. What we're going to do is we're going to do slash BS right here. It's going to select the BS folder. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this name by clicking on top of it. And then within the curly braces, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. And now I can just go ahead and call it like this BS camera reels fill. Save it. And now if I go into my React app, we see that we have it right there. It's really small. I'm zoomed in really, really a lot. And then I can do the same thing with other icons. So let's say I wanted this one. Then I can just go ahead and add it right here because it's still part of the BS folder. And let's go ahead and select something else. Let's go ahead and select this one right here, uh, FC old time camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a new import. So I'll do import. And then I'll do from react dash icons slash, I think it's FC. Yep, FC. And then I was going to go ahead and paste the name of that right here. And then we can just go ahead and use it as we want. FC, old time camera like so. Save it. And now we have all three of our different icons. That's pretty much about it. One thing that I do have to preface is make sure that you know exactly what kind of license you have available to you for each icon library. Most of them are actually MIT, so you'll be fine with that, but there's some such as Font Awesome, which are like CC by License 4.0, so you'll need to give credit to um, the person or whoever, however that license works. That's just a quick caveat on the side. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.